what you what you think of as synagogues. Even though, again, you know, this Orwellian news speak is nothing new, the word synagogue literally meant something completely different. Hence, we don't use the word kehal to refer to our synagogues. If, if it meant kehal, then in Hebrew, we would be calling our synagogues kehel. Okay, but we're not calling it, we're not calling them kehal. Okay, we call them kines, kineset, bed kineset, houses of assembly, or kinesa, kinesa, church. That's the translation here, kinesa, Arabic, church, kalisa, church. Kinesia, kinesia, church. So our Beit Knesset and the Knesset is the same thing. If we are, think about the hypocrisy, why aren't we translating this word, which is exactly the same root as this, the word for uh, Beit Knesset, why aren't we translating this as synagogue? This one is a church, but the other one is a house of church, Beit Knesset. Why, why is the Beit Knesset, a house of church, translated as synagogue? And when you take out house of, it's just church. Hmm? Because, because of the brainwashing which has gone on from the Roman Christianity, there is a new uh, synagogue in town. The legislative authority of the church for the past, you know, it was a very powerful. Um, the Holy Roman Empire was, you know, governed by the, the, the synod. <laughs> the church synods. It was governed by the synagogue of Rome. And that doesn't mean a Jewish uh, prayer house in Rome. It means the place where the Vatican, the, the synagogue of Rome was the Vatican city. That's, that's the synagogue which governed the so-called church, the Holy Roman Empire. So, so what I'm asking you to do is to break your understanding of what you think a synagogue is and you've got to have a new concept. So I'm giving you two things. I want you to break your understanding of what you think a synagogue is. And I want you to give you the new concept of this ecclesia as uh, the, the place of kanas, the place of gathering, kanas. Okay, you've got to get that one in your head. And understand that the pl this place of kanas is a eda of the Pharisees. Okay. It's within the Eda of the Pharisees. This indication here. So you've got within the Eda Perushit, you have the Kanisa. The point of it is it's not the Kehal. It's not the Kehal. So there's no way to argue that this is the Kehal. That's the key point when I'm trying to get across to you is that there's no way to argue that this is the Kehal. It is uh, the um, place of gathering. He's going to say, I'm establishing my gathering. It's not a kehal. We have nothing to do with the kehal. The kehal is doing its own thing over there. I haven't come to replace the kehal. I haven't come to establish a new kehal. The kehal continues as it is. Leave it alone. 613 laws. I haven't come for those who are well. I've come for those who are sick. I've come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let us together build a kenisa or an eda if you want. But anyway, let us build, build the Knesset. If you say this is this word is meaning Eda, then th he's talking about the, 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 the Knesset of the Pharisees having the authority over his Eda. If you say this word means Knesset, Knesset, then he's saying that the Eda of the Pharisees has the authority over it. It doesn't matter because neither word means Kehel. So there's no way you can take it to understand as a re replacement theology. So this is number one. So we know what he's talking about here is he's not saying I'm going to establish a new government for the people here. He's not saying I'm, I'm establishing a new holy order. I'm not establishing a new kehal. I'm not abolishing the, the, the covenant of Mount Sinai. I haven't come to abolish the law or replace the law. I've come to fulfill it. That is staying as it is, and I'm going to fulfill it by focusing on that aspect of the covenant which has never been focused on before, and that is to form a community out of Hagar, who was also standing there at Mount Sinai alongside Sarah. Sarah and Hagar were there at Mount Sinai. 
Sarah is fine. Leave her alone. She's doing her stuff. We're going to form a community from Hagar now. And Hagar was the mother of Ishmael. Ishmael is the donkey. The wild donkey. The children of Ishmael are the domesticated donkeys. There's the Hamor. The firstborn of the Hamrim, the first Hamor, was Nabiot. Nabi, which means prophecy. So, that word 